What's up guys? Today I got I got a package from Venture Surplus, as you guys can see on the outside. And these are all things that they had on sale. So I saw his Instagram story. He was just like, having sale, dirt cheap stuff. And I'm like, hold on, impulse buy time. And I bought a bunch of shit. I bought six different things. The total was $19 I had a discount for $1.90. The shipping was $17. So shipping was literally almost as much as everything in this box. But let me tell you, the, the value of this box is absolute. This is like value at probably 150, I would guess. Let's go. Uh, and within a week, this was shipped and already got it for me. First, what we're gonna start with is we have a ACU UCP M65 jacket. I got this and let's see, I got it in medium long in used condition for five bucks. Looks pretty good. It definitely looks you have some sweat stains there, but <laughs> as character, it smells basically brand new. Oh wow, this is dope. Wow, does it have a lighter in it? It feels like thick. I, I've never had an M65 before, so I don't know how they are. Let's see if it has a hood. Yep, it has a freaking hood, guys. Let's go. That feels like nylon, so it might be like a water-resistant hood. My first ever M65 that I've handled, or really seen. I've seen a couple of them. You know, I grew up in Montana. There's a bunch of people who ran around with M65s. But, you know, I didn't. I wasn't that big of a surplus of that. But now I am a freaking addict. Okay. YKK zipper closure is very heavy duty. Let me see on the tag here. Medium long. It was made in it was made in 2006. 50 percent cotton, percent nylon by Golden Manufacturing Co. This is my third thing I have for them. That's what it says on the tag. You guys probably can't read that, but there you go. All right. Wow. It feels pretty comfortable. It doesn't feel constricting at all. Ooh, waist cord here. Um, I also I got some M65 because I was watching a bunch of Blackie Thomas, which is a guy who like is has so many videos on M65. Just waiting for us to get here. And I've learned so much. Like he pulled a, like veterans would stuff, uh, there's like an interior lining here and it's not closed on the bottom. So they would stuff um, this area of leaves and then hem it here with the draw cord as like a uh, makeshift insulation. Let's button her up. All right, now I got an M65 all buttoned up. And overall, it's pretty good. Pretty, nice roomy fit, even for medium long. I usually wear a large regular and do this thing right here. Not constricting at all. It does look pretty cool. Hell yeah, guys. All right, moving on to the next thing. All right, you guys, here I have some new Summer Flyers gloves, tan. I got these um, for three bucks, and I want some Flyers gloves because I was watching some grunt proof. And uh, I live up here in Yuki, Michigan, and the mosquitoes get pretty bad here in the summer. So I wanted to try out his uh, no bug repellent, like a way of stopping bugs because um, I don't mind chemicals or anything, but I just want to see if it's like, cause sometimes like, you'd spray yourself down and it's still bite you and stuff. So having like an actual layer will be much more beneficial, especially with these relentless mosquitoes we had this last summer. So it's here is the grunt proof setup with some, this is the stuff I got from the venture surplus box, but here's the grunt proof setup with the flyer gloves. Ty is setting up in here, up around the wrist. So you have the layers and mosquito net, collar, all the way. Wash the instructions here. Probably made in 2014. So the cloth part is Nomex here, has like all the little stuff there, but this is Nomex gloves. So these are actually fire resistant, at least the cloth is, and leather isn't exactly gonna burn that easy, but let me try these on. Got these in GR number five. Ooh, very tight to get in. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> they are kind of tight. You're, I'm definitely not gonna be able to like uh, wear a liner with these, but I just kind of want dexterity. It's just like a very like a, it feels like it's like the skin because it's so tight on me right now. Surely with some breaking in, you just gonna get it just fine. But um, these are three bucks and I was wanting some. So now I know GR number five probably isn't gonna be my glove size, but I heard that was like large glove size, so I just fuck. I said fucking me ball. Got them on. So I mean, yeah, these are gonna definitely be on. And uh, yeah, they are gloves. They don't feel bad. I mean, they are really like skin tight right now. I don't know, but now we have Nomex gloves. Very nice. Next, I got these uh. USGI Polypro Midweight Thermal Pants, and I got these in size medium, used for $1.50, guys. All right, here we go. Um, but these are just like thermal pants, so you can, uh, is that, I usually wear joggers, but it's having some actual thermal pants, that would be a nice idea. These are also moisture wicking somewhat. It has drawers, cold weather, SPO 2003, Secre Incorporated. There you go, that's what it says. It has elastic cuffs at the bottom, too. Next, I got this, uh, defective apparently ocp scorpion garrison shirt defective medium long for one dollar so you know what i gotta lose for one dollar i actually have no um surplus multicam or ocp so it's my first so uh, nothing inherently really wrong with it smells brand new here let's again look keep on looking at it. i'm just like afraid i want to see something that's like whoa what the hell i don't see anything wrong with this side i have no idea why this would be defective with a nice zipper kind of like the acu 
So this is the OCP Operation Camouflage Pattern. It was made in uh, 2013 by Golden Manufacturing Co. Lot number uh, 416 apparently. Oh yeah, just some buttons here. Or maybe it does just have one button. I've never experienced with this. Uh... Oh, okay. Okay, now I understand why it's effective. If you see here on his arm, it's uh, there's a blown out part, but I can easily sew that up. And I'll probably, uh, by the end of the video, you'll see me this already sewed up and repaired. All right, now I did my, <laughs> did I guess my best job trying to sew up this hole. It was kind of hard trying to figure out how to do a back stitch with that big ass hole there, but um, you know, I figured it out. Um, that black there wasn't there before. It was just me burning the loose threads off to give a bit more cleaner appearance. But now, unless you look at that really, really, really closely, it's now completely usable and a nice strong stitch. So yeah, the fact that surplus repaired. But for $1, oh hell, that ain't nothing. It's a uh, standard elbow pads and stuff, has a zipper here. So you can, you know, look in there. So I'm gonna zip it all the way up. Oh, it's all the way it goes up. It's not like the ACU as I'm used to. It just actually goes up here, so that's cool. I'm sure these gloves, are, they are kind of tight, but um, I don't need them on right now. <laughs> but they're nice. It has a little uh, stamp there, it says DN. I don't know why it says that on the gloves, if they're brand new, but hey, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> it's so tight that it just, oh, damn. All right, guys, but um, yeah, also, I really have kind of like a side hobby of sewing. I like uh, sewing gear, like on my pants here. You see I have a patch sewn on this uh, hole that I had. Um, I just kind of like feel craft, like feel crafting and uh, repairs my clothes. I kind of just find it cool. So buying defective surplus gives me free practice and also I get cool drip in the outcome. Here we have an E-Wool, E-Wool, Polar Tech E-Wool Fleece Parka Liner Flame Resistant FR Use Medium Regular. So I have a big, like a double XL, literally double XL, um, Polar Tech Gen 3 Fleece for the ECWCS system and fully screen. And I, it is, it's pretty big. So I want something smaller, that's why I got a medium regular. This feels really soft, just like way softer actually than the ECWCS. This has surplus now. This is this is surplus. Holy shit. I got it for uh 450. Made in the USA. Hell yeah. Made by fire resistant free. I think it's yeah, ADS again. And army, all that stuff for the ECU where it had all like certified by the US Army. Really big and kind of almost like noxious tag, but this was made to be buttoned, I think, to like the pop jacket or some shit. So it has buttons here. I don't exactly say where when it was made, but I'm guessing a 2001 possibly. No idea, but let's try it on. It's actually constricts on my, my, my sleeve. So on my double XL one, it's so loose. And so I just kind of want a more form fitting uh, sweater and the pack that's fire resistant, even better. More, ooh, nice elastic on the waist. See, YKK zipper. It has this like F, it feels like a moving blanket right here, like flame resistant blanket material on the, the seam, which I find to be kind of cool. You know, I've heard of like, you know, weatherproofing seams for like rain or cold, but never from fire, so. It's hell proof. So if we ever have to get deployed in fucking hell, I'm not gonna make a Middle East joke right now because I'm not qualified to make that joke. But um, if we ever get deployed to hell, we got we got flame resistant clothing. All right, guys, here we have the double turtleneck going on here. Uh, there's no hand warm pockets like the ECWCS uh, Gen 3. Kind of constricting, but not really. I can feel this a little bit, but um, I mean, dude, I got drip on right now. This would go on way easier than clothing compared to my big ass bulky fleece that I had. Overall, guys. Hell yeah for a uh, fucking 450. Fuck it. All right, guys, here's the M65 right here. This is the US Woodland one, guys, in the large short for um, $4. <laughs> I saw the defective uh, OCP shirt and that shit was hidden, but the um, defective also made the kind of just badges on it. I'm just like, just bad? <laughs> shit. Ooh, okay, I think I know why it's defective now. Like waxy material on the bottom? I don't really know what the hell that is. It has some stains on it. I don't really know what that is. Probably come out in the wash. Looks like duct tape or something. This is uh, Edwards. Okay. Large short. Which that one was made. You have the button in for the, the liners. This was made in 1999. So by Golden Manufacturing Co. I swear everything I get from Venture Surplus is made by that company. Okay. This is large short. So it might run slightly um, short on me. But I'm, 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 I'm willing to see. Got my M65 right here. Does that have epaulets? Yeah, it does have epaulets. Rambo. Yeah, here it comes down on me pretty well, let me get a, a better angle here as you guys can see it just comes down it's actually kind of perfect length actually you know lifting my arms up it doesn't really come up that high and come out all the way out here be just fine up this large short I usually wear like a large regular sometimes I wear even a large long short sleeves are harder to deal with than longer sleeves in my personal experience but um, all right there we go Oh god, something's wrong with this collar. I fucked it up. I think I missed the button. That's probably why it looks so silly. I think that's just how the collar lays down. And overall, guys, this is a pretty comfortable coat. And I do like it a lot. And I'm just happy that it didn't have some big ass holes or some duct tape on it. So I highly recommend you guys buy your adventure surplus. Hell yeah, bro.
$4.50 M65. That's some badass shit right there. So thank you guys for watching and goodbye. Well, I was checking the pockets of my M65 I just got from Venture Surplus for $4.50 in US M81 Woodland. But at some point, I was searching one of the pockets and I found a freaking earplug, dude. My first ever pocket find in a military surplus garment. Fuck yeah.